two in the morning. Rest is getting harder. Hammers bored and fans not impressed. Locke knows it is a minor blip that he will overcome in the coming weeks. It is never easy to come in and take a new role. As the players will of course be loyal to the old manager until they understand what I am about and what goals I have for the club. When you then add in new signings, players will think they're not wanted, which isn't the case. I have a long-term plan and I don't want to rush anything at all. I am very happy with the new lads and I feel results will change in the coming weeks. Hello, welcome, I'm Devil Sniper, that was the Daily Jaffa. You're probably thinking, hold on, this is episode number five, but the right-hand side of the Daily Jaffa is empty. Okay, let's chill, let's not be too, you know, excited, because we are excited. This is episode number five, this is the West Ham career mode, and I am absolutely loving it. This is a team we're going to be going with. As you can see, Parides is going to be playing on the Lamb side. We've got Ravel Morrison on the right-hand side as Ram. We're going with a 4-2-2-2, just because I want to try the boys out, and I want to make sure that we have two defensive midfielders, and we have that all-important two strikers. This is the best way to do it, instead of doing a 4-1-2-1-2, because I want to see how the, how Ravel Morrison does and Leandro do. Hopefully, they will they will gel and get along. But you, as I was saying, you, you're probably thinking, why is the right-hand side empty? Well, the top box on that right-hand side, the bigger rectangle, is fan speak. The fan speak. Basically, you have 80 to 90 words for your stories, what you want to have a say, be it about, well, obviously, it'll be helpful if it's related to the career mode. So if you say, see episode number five, like today, and you want to have your say, then just leave it in the comments section below. Your, your sort of 60 to 90 words would be fantastic. I can fit it into that box. Then we'll have obviously have it in uh, the following episode. Um, I will read it out. The bottom box is for tweets. Hashtag Jaffa Cake Army. Hashtag Jaffa Cake Army, all one word Jaffa Cake Army. You'll see it in the description below. It's hashtag Jaffa Cake Army. Basically, just have your say about the career mode. Have your say about anything to do with my channel, me in general. Try and keep it clean. Try and keep it nice and polite. If you don't, then uh, it won't be used. If you're nice, polite, and, you know, cool, then uh, hopefully your tweet will get selected and we will showcase them on there in the Daily Jaffa because this is all about interaction. This is all about that ball by Jordan Rhodes, which was absolutely sensational. Andy Carroll tried to make an angle for himself, pulls the trigger, and unfortunately the ball goes wide. But we pick it up with the army in the centre of the park. We love the army in the centre of the park. Knocks the ball into the Andro. The Andro into the box, looks to chip the goalkeeper. No, back post into Andy Carroll. That is an absolutely sensational goal. How unselfish can you get? The lad is only, what, 18, 19 years old, and he has that coolness and calmness and collectiveness to chip the ball to the back post for big AC to come in, power the ball home like an absolute beast that he is. So at halftime, the score is Southampton nil, West Ham United 1. And we're playing really well. You know, we we put up a good fight because, don't get me wrong, Southampton are a very, very strong side. They play at such a high tempo. Absolutely a high tempo. Mark Noble with a beautiful ball forward into Andy Carey. Chests it down, pulls the trigger, and that is a huge save by the Southampton keeper. Absolutely a huge save. And this is ridiculous. Ravel Morrison going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It looks like it's Luke Shaw there. And he's out-muscling Luke Shaw. I can't believe that. I think that was really, really unfair by the referee. Both players just showing good determination. A great ball in. Osvaldo with the header. Unfortunately, Osvaldo could get no power nor direction on that header. If he could, we might have been in trouble there because he's a very handy fella in the air. But great ball out to Joey O'Brien. Joey O'Brien swings the ball over into Andy Carroll. Oh, my days. Andy Carroll is on fire. What could control and what a strike by the big man absolutely sensational the ball by O'Brien was world class but that first touch by Andy Carroll wow that has left me literally speechless that is absolutely sensational the control was majestic the finish was sensational unbelievable play absolutely unbelievable play Leandro picks the ball up plays a delightful ball over the top into Jordan Rose Jordan Rose looks to be going wide from the keeper tries to shot great save Andy Carroll's there to slot it home Southampton defense going a bit of a muddle there and Andy Carroll has now got three goals the first hat trick of the season goes to the big man AC and I expect him to score at least 20 goals this season I really do want to see him hitting those high double figures. You know, your 15 plus is acceptable, but 20 would be sensational. Ball into Jordan Rose from Andy Carroll. Great ball over the top. Southampton defender. Lovren with times it. And oh my days, Andy Carroll has just torn Southampton apart by himself. What an absolutely display of finishing by Andy Carroll. That is his fourth goal of the game. 
An unfortunate mistake by Southampton, but Andy Carroll straight in there. Big AC. So powerful, so dominating to slam the ball home to make the score line at a ridiculous and fantastic Southampton nil. West Ham United 4. What a sensational display of football. We're now going to have a look at who is man of the match. Obviously, it was really, really difficult, but... Come on, Andy Carroll with a 9.8 rating. He made nine passes, completed five, shots seven, on target five, goals four. We have Leandro Paredes in second place, match rating of eight. 15 passes made, 12 completed, three shots, one on target, no goals. No ball in 7.9, 20 passes made, 18 completed, naught shots, naught on target, and naught goals, unfortunately. But no ball was in there in, in third place because he was just an absolute beast. He does what he does week in, week out. Breaks up play, distributes the ball simply. Knocks it onto the likes of Ravel Morrison. Locks it onto the likes of Leandro, who is playing so, so well at this moment in time. Knocks it onto the likes of Jordan Rhodes, who put in some sensational balls. He may not have got on the score sheet himself, but don't you know? Don't think that he's going to be the nearly man. He just dropped out. He, he played beautiful balls into Andy Carroll. His movement was sensational. I've got high hopes for him. I'm not sure he's going to be what I expected, which is going to be a high goal scoring forward. But I think he's going to get a lot of assists this season. I think he's going to play... A, a very important role in the team, but we'll have to wait and see because there's a long way to go as Mark Noble knocks a ball down the line into O'Brien. O'Brien goes for that cross. What a ball he put in against Southampton. That ball for Andy Carroll's hat-trick was just unbelievable. Absolutely sensational. Nolan swings the ball in. Andy Carroll. Oh, my God. It's like a dream. The man is on fire. He literally is a man on fire. Absolutely sensational. I'm not 100% sure about celebrating in front of the uh, the away fans. It's very appropriate. But it's Andy Carroll, so he will do what he wants. And he scores at this moment in time when he wants Absolutely fantastic. Outpowering not just two centre-backs from Everton, but the goalkeeper, the oncoming Tim Howard, to make him look beyond average. Absolutely sensational play there by Andy Carroll. He really has started us this season the way I, I really hoped and dreamed he would. And it's fantastic to see him absolutely on fire. Matty Jarvis, left-hand side, looking to swing the ball in. Great cross, back post, Jordan Rhodes! Oh, that is a fantastic save. Nolan, oh my days, Nolan. It looked like he was going to try a piece of skill there, but Nolan went the wrong way, unfortunately. Delightful ball over the top, into Nolan. Nolan going towards that byline, chips the ball back. Oh my days. Unbelievable play there by West Ham United. Absolutely unbelievable play. They are tearing Everton apart. Everton really are not involved in this game. They're being kept quiet by a fantastic West Ham team at this moment in time. My dirty little secret, centre of the park, spraying the ball out to the right-hand side. Jordan Rose, unfortunately, doesn't look to, to have the pace to catch that up. I don't think he was 100% expecting such a great ball over the top there by uh, by Barishi, or my as I like to call him, my little dirty secret, because that stands for DS, which means Devil Sniper. You guessed it. And did you see that tackle by Mark Noble? Name the player he clattered. Name the player in the comment section below who he clattered. Hashtag it, Noble Tank. He's a noble tank. Absolutely sensational. And we were very, very lucky there just a moment ago. Great cross in. Lukaku with the header. How that went wide, I will never know. That was absolutely sensational movement by the big Belgium. Really, really is quite a handful. But look at the ball by the dirty secret. Into Jarvis. Surely this is two. What a save by Howard. And what a clearance there. Overhead kicks, really. Just can't believe it. Barkley breaking into the box. And really, really poor. Sloppy, disgraceful defending. The ball goes onto the post. And how is that a goal? I'm really, really shocked. I'm really, really disgusted. Really, really not happy with the lads. The, the one lacks of concentration we have costs us a goal in the 90th minute. For 90 minutes against Southampton, we were impeccable. For 90 minutes or 89 minutes against Everton, we were impeccable. For one minute, we let it slip. And it hurts when you dominate a team so much. 62% possession. We toyed with Everton. 11 shots, 8 on target, and we draw 1-1. One, one. Nonetheless, the dirty little secret is man the match for me. He had a 7.2 game. Passes made 17, completed 14. He had one shot, one on target. Andy Carroll, 7.9 rating. Six passes made, five completed, four shots, four on target, one goal. And I have to say, Roland Rat. Yes, I call him Roland. He's my Roland Rat. In third place, 6.9 with a 12 for 12 Pass made, pass completion 
absolutely sensational in that left back position. Obviously, he had no shots, none on target, and he didn't score a goal, unfortunately. We're going to move into the next game. And as you can see, I have mixed it up because it is a cup game, and I want to rotate the players. I want to give Ravel a little bit of a, a rest. I don't want to overplay players. I don't want to overplay Andy Carroll because, as you know, Andy Carroll is susceptible to picking up the odd injury, and I really, really don't want that to be happening at this early stage in the season. So because it's a cup game, I know it's a Capital One Cup, but I do want to do well in the Capital One Cup, but at the same time, I want to make sure I keep the boys fit. I want to make sure we keep Andy Carroll fit because he is literally, literally, literally on fire. The man is on fire. Absolutely sensational. The same with Jordan Rhodes. You know he's been playing well, yet he's still yet to score. But he has been playing well. And it'd be nice to see, you know, give Colton Cole a bit of a run out. See how he does. See how the whole team does. And obviously, you know... Put a bit of an emphasis on Leandro by sticking him in a cam position by himself and see if he can handle, you know, the, the hustle, the bustle of a very strong Liverpool side. As Matty Jarvis plays a beautiful ball into Carlton Cole, he goes for the cross and it is an easy header clearance there from Liverpool. It was a nice idea by Carlton Cole. Very unselfish striker. Would have liked to have seen him power towards the byline or even have a shot, but a beautiful ball over the top from Diami into Downing. Downing into the box and Downing has just put that wide of the post. Absolutely sensational piece of play there by Diami. Beautiful ball, but Downing just hits it with the outside of his right foot. And it must get some sort of bend because it keeps it just out of that near post, unfortunately. But it's nice to see Downing actually, you know, the words that I've said to him, he's, he's taken to heart. He's starting to play some nice football. Colton Cole, pick up the ball, knocks it out to the right-hand side. Downing getting really involved, pulls the ball back, spots Diami on the run. Diami breaking into the box. Diami! Diami with a sensational chip! Oh my days, Diami! What an absolutely majestic goal. Oh my days. You only see the likes of that scored by the greats. But my God, what a ball by Downing. The counter-attack play there by West Ham was sensational. And Diami with, oh my days. That is just sublime. Absolutely sublime. What a deft touch over the oncoming Mignolet. That is absolutely poetry in motion. Oh my days. Oh, that gives me a shiver right down my spine. Diami is an absolute legend. And look at him scream with joy. It's what we like to see as we go in at halftime. Leading Liverpool one goal to nil in the Capital One Cup. Which I think is pretty damn impressive. We really have turned things around. It has been a hard start to the season. You know, I was very frustrated with the loss against Stoke City. Because I really do feel we should be beating Stoke City. Liverpool make a change. They take off Aspas and they bring on Sturridge. We also take off Colton Cole. He had a slight hamstring twinge and I did not want to risk him. So I decided to bring on Vicardo Vaste. Stick him up front. See what he can do as Diami comes in and forces an absolutely world-class save out of Mignolet. That was absolutely sensational. But Liverpool on the counter-attack here. Sturridge breaking into the box, gets blocked off, but again, he plays a simple ball through into Lucas Lever, and he slots the ball home in the 58th minute to bring Liverpool somehow back into this game, unbelievably back into this game. They have been outplayed for most of the game. The ball with Leandro, Leandro, 30, 40 yards out, tried to chip ball over the top, it's just pulled the chip, oh my god, Leandro, what a strike, son. From about 30 yards, he's hit the woodwork. Absolutely sensational. Collison knocks the ball into Diami. Diami with a shot. It's off the woodwork. Liverpool are literally hanging on. Lava with a poor clearance. Into Ravel Morrison. And again, it's off the woodwork. How is this possible? Liverpool holding on for dear, dear life. Absolutely grasping with their fingertips to stay in this game. The full time whistle goes. Liverpool won. West Ham United won. And you'll have to see how extra time goes in the next episode. Catch you later, guys. To dream about cars and things and things About being a star and things and things I thought that I would outgrow this feeling It seems my dream